Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 9 Let's Play. Where guys, five builders available, a laboratory ready to go. But I think that the main thing about today is what we're going to be covering and that is how to use witches at Town Hall 9. I cannot wait. First of all, heads up, this is a series, so if you guys are just seeing this video because you searched this, uh, check out the series. It's kind of covering what to do with Town Hall 9 uh, and I'm excited because I've already maxed out my witches for Town Hall 9. That's kind of clutch. That's going to be very helpful. I haven't... Oh, I also finished my healers. That helps too. So check this out, guys. We're going to be using a witch attack today called Witch Slap. And uh, this is something that works very well even without heroes. Obviously, having heroes helps a lot too. So uh, what we have here, guys, is five wall breakers, four wizards, four healers, one golem, and nine witches. We also have a healer... Or, I'm sorry, a heal spell... Two rage spells, a jump spell, and a poison spell. Clan castle bowlers and a clan castle free spell. These things are the combination that you need for this witch slap strategy where uh, you can do crazy things with it. Now, something to remember. The witch slap army is expensive with dark elixir. Uh, 1700 is not a small number. However, it's just a little more expensive than things like hogs or go hobo or go vape. So... It's not, like, insanely expensive. It used to be worse. I think that they made their witches cheaper. Supercells helped us out a lot. Uh, if you guys are going to be upgrading heroes and you need Dark Elixir, this strategy may not be the strategy for you. But if you are, uh, you're good on Dark Elixir, like I am. I've got almost maxed out Dark Elixir. Then, you know, play around with it and have fun with it. And that's what we're going to be doing today. I haven't practiced this at all. Okay, I haven't practiced this at all. I've only watched it done in the past. I haven't done it before. So, and I, well, okay, I think I've done them in the past before, but I haven't done it in a long time. So this is going to be a total experiment. Uh, I am going to be giving a lot of tips and tricks though on what to watch for. Things like uh, air defense placement, mostly, for the healers. Because that's how this attack strategy actually works. You want to put your healers on a few witches on the outside. And then a line of witches and wizards down the middle. So, let's attack this base. This is a good one. Uh, and, and the healers, or, I'm sorry, the sweepers pointing in the same direction actually help as well. This is a Town Hall 10, but it only has a Town Hall 9 level queen. So, that tells me something. And there's no Inferno Tower. So, that helps too. So, um, this is actually one of those weird bases where you have a really big compartment in the middle. So, I'm actually going to kind of start as if these two corners, this corner here and this corner over here, are the corners. Like, the corners. But, uh, that obviously isn't true. So, check this out. We're gonna go one, two, and then one, two. Those are our healers and our witches for that corner. One, two, one, two. There it is. Next step, golem. We're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go, uh, five wizards, or witches, two wizards. I've got my CC bowlers, which are clutch, king and queen, and let's drop some wall breakers to go into this base right there. Now, actually, the CC bowlers is pretty clutch, so if you don't have a good clan that can't give you bowlers, then you need to have a good clan that can give you bowlers. Like, that's, a, that's important, and bowlers aren't that hard to get, so, you know, join a good clan, join my clan, Discord. Link in the description if you guys are interested in that. Now I'm going to drop a jump spell. This one should span all the way across. Very nice. Um, the rage spell worked very nicely as well. Let's actually heal the, the bowlers because they are struggling and rage through that. Now I've got a freeze and I have a poison spell. So I can probably cover like the queen with the poison and then like maybe this expo with the freeze because the expo is doing some crazy amounts of damage. Um, so there you go. I, I cleared out the entire thing. I've got one group of, uh, of witches with healers still alive on the left-hand side. They're still doing their thing. And then on the right, I'm not sure what happened. Probably ran into some Seeking Air Mines. Those healers are very vulnerable to Seeking Air Mines. So we'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'll look at the replay maybe and, and figure it out. But, uh, looks like we have some witches actually still alive and go through walls on that left-hand side too. That's awesome. Now here's, again, this is what I was talking about. Having your, uh, your healers run into some air defenses. This is a problem, so you have to be careful about which bases you hit, or be okay with not three-starring if those air defenses are near the outside. Better if they're near the inside for this particular attack strategy. So, remembering I was hitting a Town Hall 10, they do have extra buildings. I don't know if this one has them or not. All I know is this one doesn't have Inferno Tower. So I think that getting 72% or more, uh, a two-star, is pretty good. And if you look at the defenses that are still left, 
Here's a cannon. It can't keep up with witches. Here's another cannon. It can't keep up with witches. Here's an archer tower. It can't keep up with witches. And there's a mortar. It might can keep up with witches because there's a wall specifically. So I think I don't know. I think given enough time, look at this. We have we have another witch. We have three witches. Given enough time, I think that this these witches would actually three star this base. I don't think we have enough time, but if we did, we might three star, which is pretty cool. So 80% plus two star, not too shabby. In this next raid, I'm gonna try to find something that's a little more classic. A, a base that you would hit on the corners, you'd have an easy funnel into it, things don't get too split up, too spread out. That will be the that'll be the goal moving forward here. So lots of witches. Now this combination is pretty rough because the mortars kill lots of skeletons. Uh, so we might actually lose some some witches, but uh, it was pretty clutch. I mean. 92% two star with my very first time using witch slap like this year <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad. And that was a lot of loot. Wow. That was a lot of loot e elixir and gold dark elixir all the things So let me request for some CC troops and I can actually donate them to myself because I've got my good old town hall 14 in this clan I normally don't have this town hall 14 in this clan, but right now I do specifically for the video uh, so let me gem some stuff. There we go, and it should pop up. Bam! Nice from Klaus. That's me. Now this is going to be an example of a raid without heroes. Okay, this again. This is a great strategy to attack without heroes. If you already have quite a bit of dark elixir, if you don't, then stick with the the giant wizard uh, or the Pekka wizard combination that I've been using. It's a great combination. Or dragons. Dragons with lightning spells are a fantastic strategy. Or dragons with rage spells even are a, a fantastic strategy for uh, Town Hall 9 getting Dark Elixir. Because obviously dragons and lightning spells, for instance, don't cost any Dark Elixir. So anyway, let me find a good base that this will work on and it has plenty of loot and we'll have some fun. Wait a minute. I might just I might have fun with this one. I'm gonna have fun with this one. <laughs> Another Town Hall 10. Okay. Uh, I can't pass up this loot, okay? We may not even one star this particular base, but it, it's got lots of loot that I want. It's got lots of elixir, and I want it. I want it. So let's attack it. Uh, most of it's over here, too, so that makes it a little bit easier. So let's go. A uh, couple of witches, boom, boom, and a couple of healers. Same thing over here. I'll look at the air defenses and stuff in a minute. Like I said, I'm kind of attacking this thing pretty like short-sighted actually all I want is the elixir at, at the uh, the entry of the base so anyway there's that now I've got my bowlers so at least there's that too let's drop a rage relatively early I guess and let's also drop a heal I am dealing with some uh, expos here drop the jump spell poison over the queen and Rage into the core and I'm actually gonna freeze this inferno. So the, the the bowlers rage in the core is crazy clutch guys You could get a really great percentages uh, Two starring bases you have no you shouldn't be two starring like that one with inferno towers as a town hall nine That's that was pretty good um, And it's just it works like the witches do a great job of funneling and the only issue I, I can see, like for these healers, for instance, is that air defense. If the witches can't hit that air defense, which I don't know if they can, we're gonna, we're about to find out, actually. Check this out. So the, the mortar goes down, and they are not... Oh, looks like they can hit it. Perfect. So there's, there's one space between the wall and the air defense, and the witches can hit it. So that's perfect. So that means that those witches are going to survive. These, however, did not. And I think they either hit a seeking air mine, or they ran into... An air defense, <laughs> like I'm saying, uh, but I'm genuinely impressed. I'm actually really, really impressed with how well I did against this base. This base had inferno towers for heaven's sake. So yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. Uh, if I can get this mortar, this uh, bomb tower to go down, that'd be fantastic. Okay, small victories. We we did pretty well. So 74% two star. Um, I've got nothing else I can do. I've got nothing else is doing damage. There must be a skeleton. Yeah, there's a skeleton right here. Look at that. The game would literally wait for the skeleton to break through this wall. It's going to take this guy at least 13 years to break through that wall. No, we're going to skip it. We're ending that battle. That's for sure. Uh, and there you go. High percent two star on a town hall 10. Easy money. No heroes. Don't forget, I had no heroes in that raid. <laughs> Still, If I had heroes, I might have three starred it. Yeah, pretty awesome. And I got loads of loot. So that was awesome too. So there you go, guys. That's Witch Slap. Two good examples 
uh, both of those raids went pretty well. And give it a try on your own. Again, the army composition is nine witches and a golem, four healers, four wizards, and fill the rest of space with wall breakers. And then, of course, you have your double rage heal combination in your jump spell with a poison. CC bowlers, CC freeze. And you don't have to have a freeze. I just like having a freeze over something like a lightning spell. Lightning spells are kind of boring. And poison spells, I don't normally need to. So that's why I bring a freeze. So, now that we have done the tutorial part of the video, let's upgrade some stuff, which I'm excited about, been excited about for a while. First of all, this air sweeper that we upgraded last time is, in fact, maxed out. Let's move this baby across the map and slap him down right there for no good reason. And uh, let's upgrade the laboratory. So, uh, or not the laboratory, but a troop. First of all, I'm using golems. I should probably upgrade them. I've got enough Dark Elixir, it's only 20,000 and it's a three day upgrade. So let's go and upgrade this. This Again, this is just for the Witch Slap. I've been using a bunch of different strategies or I'm going to be using more strategies, but this one will be clutch. So 20,000 Dark Elixir, three day upgrade, three, two, one, bam. Now let's see here, uh, P.E.K.K.A. I definitely want to upgrade the P.E.K.K.A. I've been using P.E.K.K.A. Wizard a lot. Dragons, need to upgrade the dragons. Those are clutch to so many things, man. So many things need to be done. But I love it. I love the grind. Now, I've got enough Dark Elixir to upgrade both the King and the Queen. The Queen's 34. The King is 37. So that's 71 altogether. So I've got plenty of Dark Elixir for both. Let's have the King go first. He never gets to go first. Let's let him go first today. Right? Let's go. 3, 2, 1. Bam. 3, 2, 1. Bam. Nice. And I still have excess Dark Elixir. Like a lot of it. So we're in good shape. I can keep Witch Slapping. No problem. Um, okay, and then Elixir, I can keep working on these drills for just for fun. So, uh, 1.5 million Elixir, one and a half day upgrade. Remember, level six is max, so let's upgrade that. Let's upgrade that. And why not just do all the drills? Free Dark Elixir will definitely come in handy. And we're finishing up Elixir upgrades anyway, so it's great timing. So, that means that I've got 3.8. Actually, I've got, ooh, I've got some treasury loot I can go ahead and collect. <laughs> I have 92,000 Dark Elixir, so that's insane. Uh, let's upgrade, each one of these is half a million. I've almost got 5 million, uh, uh, 5 million gold. So let's do nine walls. Almost, I was super close. Come on, buddy, there you go. 4.5 million gold, bam. All right, and then lastly, a couple of drills, right? A couple of drills need to go right there, bam. So for the next day, day and a half, two days, I'm not going to have any free Dark Elixir. Again, I have excess Dark Elixir, so it's not a problem. And we're working on it. Getting those Elixir upgrades done, pouring extra gold. It thinks everything's going perfectly, I think. The, this Town Online Let's Play, especially, again, keeping all these heroes upgrading, is just going perfectly. So I love it. I can't wait for the next episode. I can't wait to film again, but I have to wait. I have no builders. <laughs> so, uh, guys, that's going to do it for me today in this episode of our 10 on 9 Let's Play, and I hope you enjoyed a little Witch Slap tutorial. If you have any questions, post them down below, but even easier, join me on my Discord server. There's hundreds, thousands of people all the time that, that's on there, and uh, they're all very smart. So go ask questions on there, and I will help as best as I can, or somebody else will get to you. Like the video if you like to subscribe, join the class family if you haven't already for daily gaming videos, and do not forget to use code Klaus if you guys haven't, or if you guys decide to buy something in the game. Remember that I love each and every one of you, and I'll see you all again next time.